Hi, everybody. My name is Debbie. And I am with DebbieMace.com. And today I am going to be showing you how to make your logo using PicMonkey. So before we get started, I would like to show you um, just a couple things that is going to help you with your logos. So I want to show you Apple's logo. Um, all I did here was I googled Apple and with Apple look this Apple it's simple it doesn't say what Apple is used for it doesn't say it's a computer it doesn't say anything it's a simple logo and look it doesn't even have any words at all so one thing you need to remember with logos is it needs to be timeless so look they just upgraded their design a little bit. I mean, look at this. It's amazing. So um, let's look at one other one. Um, Nike, the Nike logo. You guys, it doesn't say that it's a shoe. Look at this. We all know what Nike is, but it's a timeless. It's, it's memorable. It's simple. So those are things you need to remember when you are doing a logo. Okay, so let's move to PicMonkey. What do you want? I'm recording. Um, can me and Lexi come downstairs? And Not right now, upstairs. Now I'm mad at you. I'm sitting here recording. I do this, you ignore me. If I do this, you wait until I am done. It's gonna be at least eight minutes. You do not interrupt me when I'm recording. Do you understand? You walk away and you wait. Now go upstairs like I said. Okay, so I'm on Pick Monkey. Now, Pick Monkey, um, we're in September of 2017. So I don't know when you're gonna be watching this video, but before now, Pick Monkey actually had a free version. You no longer um, can have a free version of Pick Monkey. So you can go in here and you can actually create your design, but as soon as you try to save it, you have to do the trial or you just pay. Um, as of right now, PicMonkey, it's, um, you can sign up for a seven day trial or it can be $3.99 a month. But if you do that one, you actually have to pay for the entire year. Um, which is under $50. So I do like PicMonkey when it comes to um, my designs. So to do a logo, I do design and I do a blank canvas. So one thing you want to make sure when you're doing a logo, you want to keep it simple, you want to keep it timeless and practical. It does not always have to say what, um, what, your company is all about. So sometimes I like just to click on that one. I just like a square one. Um, but you do want to make sure that your logo can get bigger, um, smaller, because you're going to be using it on different things. So, okay. So one thing that I do like to do, um, I actually like to change the background because your logo should be transparent so you can add it anywhere. Um, so I like to make my, I think my computer is going a little bit slow.
the building. Okay, so I like to make it gray. My, um, I just like to make it a little bit darker so I can see what I'm doing. So sometimes when you're doing this, you might want to use um, white text, which if it's on a white background, it's really hard to see. So um, let's, um, and I applied it so it will stay gray. You can change it at any time. You can have any color background. Um, that you want. Okay, um, so I am going to move over to text first. Um, a rule of thumb, I mean there's really no rules in design, but with logos you need it to be simple. So no more than um, three fonts at a time. Um, one or two is actually what you probably should do. Um, I would also, um, make sure that um, the font is easy to read. Um, so I'm just going to throw in over here. Um, so let's, so I'm just going to do my name. Um, I'm actually going to tap pocket, put spaces between my name. Okay, so one thing you can do is to make sure that it is in the middle, you push it all the way to the sides so it is centered. And over here, you push the center. Now it will stay centered. Um, so now you can, um, if you want some type of design, um, you can find an overlay that, that you like. Um, a lot of people like to do a type of line, squiggly. Um, with PicMonkey, look at all the different things you can do. Now remember, you want it timeless. You want it um, memorable. So here we go. Um, I'm not sure I like that. Let's see if I like that or not. Um, um, what I'm doing right here, I want to bring my name forward. So I right clicked and bring forward. I do not like that. So guess what? I'm just going to click delete. Yeah. You know, you guys have fun with this. Um, find things that you like. There are tons of things here. Um, let's actually say that this is for a music logo. Um, I do love music, so hey, why not? Um, let's make that a little gray. Um, no, we don't want it to go to the side. So let's put it in the center. I'm going to bring it forward. Um, let's actually see if making my name white. That looks pretty awesome. That is simple. It has music. Um, and really simple. So maybe, what do you think about maybe adding? My website is Debbie Mace Online, so maybe I actually want to put on a line. Oops, I saw my caps on. 
So let's do online. Um, let's do a second font. And I'll put it over there. So sometimes it's actually good to have um, two different color fonts or one different color font. Um, if I wanted, I could actually put Debbie in black um, and have online in black. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys different things that you can do with your logos. Um, I'm doing it in live so you can see all the little different things that you can do. Um, I do not like the look of that, but some of you might like the look of that. Um, I actually really liked the white. So I just move this up to white. Um, let's move that to white. Okay, so I do like that. It's a very simple, um, memorable. Um, if this was a... Um, Let's say I sold makeup. Um, let's find something to do with makeup. Okay, I changed my mind. Um, let's, let's say I sold buttons. It, look how awesome this is. I found it over in the overlays and then I just scrolled down and I found buttons. So let's get rid of the music here. All right, I just clicked on it, press delete. So let's say I sold buttons. So we, seriously, we could put like little buttons down here. Look how cool this is. And you guys have fun with this, seriously. And when you're done creating your logo, the best thing to do is to actually go and ask your friends what they think. Is it something that they're going to remember? Is it something um, that they like? So what about that, you guys? That's pretty cool. So that's another thing you can do. Um, let me show you something else. I'm just trying to give you guys some good ideas. Okay, so I'm still in my design tab. Um, I went under flourishes. Now you don't wanna go too crazy with your design, but some of these are pretty, pretty awesome. So I could actually do something like this to add a little flair to it, but not too much. Um, let's send it to the back. I do like the two tones. So sending it to the back, I click on it. I right click my mouse and send to back. Okay. Um, I think I want to make sure that that is in the center of my name. This is to the side. Here you go. Here's another one. Um, I would want to make sure that this was long enough that it does not cover up my name. So I'll have to have it over the E. 
that's all right. All right, so there's another very simple one. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how to make it transparent as well. So up here, you're gonna click on the three lines. You're gonna go to Canvas Color, and guess what? I'm making it transparent. When you see this background, that means you can save it as being transparent. Okay, um, but I'm not gonna quite do that yet because I want to see it. So I do want to crop it. So I went up to crop and I'm gonna crop this right on it, okay? All right, so now I've cropped it. All right, apply. Now I'm gonna go to Canvas, make it transparent, and I'm going to save. All right, this will save it into, um, let's make it logo. I've made a few logos. So I'm gonna name it Logo 5. Logo 5, save. So now this is saving into my hub within PicMonkey, but I uh, actually, oops, I don't. I'm gonna export it to my computer as well. So Logo 5, um, you can change the dimensions if you want, um, and I'm gonna export it to my computer. Now you can see I have made a few different logos. This one's a little bit too busy. Um, you don't want your logo to be too busy. So I'm going to save it, and there you have it. Now you can see I've saved it into my computer, and gonna move this over okay um, I've saved it right there so there's my logo number five and that is how you can create a logo so you guys you can um, head over to my YouTube channel um, Debbie Mace um, and to get more how-to videos, head over to my website at debbiemace.com and I will see you guys on my next how-to video.